New at 6, more than 40 black-owned Tulsa daycares are making harassment complaints from or about the Department of Human Services. The NAACP is stepping in to help. Daycare owners tell Fox 23's Tanya Modrzycki as a result, many centers are voluntarily shutting down. Tanya, this is causing a daycare desert in North Tulsa? Shay and Sarah, that's right. One daycare owner tells me that since March, DHS has come to her center six times. Now, mind you, the protocol, she says, is DHS pays visits to centers four times a year. Black-owned daycare owners in North Tulsa and across the city say they've been harassed by Department of Human Services employees for more than 10 years. One owner, Bree, who does not want her face or full name revealed for sake of her business, says DHS visits are getting out of hand. These ladies at our centers three times a week, sometimes every day. Um, simply, a, I mean, a visit usually takes about an hour and a half, but they've, you know, stayed as max of six hours before, um, open to close. Bree says DHS workers are following their customers, employees, and even tracking their social media. We have them call our parents because we have situations to where they have called and harassed the parents in regards to pressuring them to say certain things or wanting to, you know, to say certain things too. She says some daycares voluntarily closing as a result. A lot of daycares are closed. Um, unfortunately, they're not even allowing a lot of explanations. It's kind of, you know, what they say goes. The NAACP is stepping in to help after more than 40 owners are coming forward with complaints. So we need accountability. President of the Tulsa chapter, Francetta Mays, says she wants to see an audit done on DHS's complaints and on records to compare black and white owned centers. If there has been enough infractions that we can identify, that shows that there has been harassment, that there has been some form of injustice that's happened as a result of you coming to work and doing your job effectively. Well, there's misrepresentation laws that are included in most human resources. Bree says this harassment is impacting their livelihoods and taking away energy that should be put into children. We're stressed, we're tired. We you know, are not asking for anything other than to be treated fairly. I, I reached out to DHS. I have not heard back. The NAACP and daycare owners are pushing for daycare reform as well as an internal investigation into DHS. Covering news that matters in Tanya Motorzitsky, Fox 23 News.